Greenville, Mississippi, also known as the heart of the Mississippi Delta, can be called home to a wide variety of artists who have all been influenced by the unique Southern culture that can only be found in the Delta. We are first going to begin our tour in Greenville at Sylvia Ledoux's Gallery. The Ledoux Gallery is the first co-op gallery in Greenville, Mississippi. The Ledoux Gallery serves the Delta region by providing a place for local artists to display their artwork. Sylvia is also committed to her love of painting and will tell us about what guides her creativity while she transforms her blank canvases into beautiful gardens. Yeah, I have, I have people come in and say this is the greatest thing that's happened to Greenville in years. And um, I have a lot of people that bring their family in from out of town just to look. Uh, there's, there's a lot of traffic that comes through here from really all over the world. We have people from England coming in here. There's a place called U.S. Axminster that designs um, rugs for uh, clients all over the world. Uh, I think they mentioned Donald Trump recently. And they have their graphic artists there that exhibit here. Before they never had a place to exhibit their work, but there, there's some really excellent artists that work for this company. Started a series on Greenville. I've moved here four years ago, and um, there's a lot of beautiful gardens here that I'm depicting. Uh, sort of as this is what I do originally. This is what I was doing before I moved here, but now it's given it some historical significance. Um, portraying the community as it is today. I, en I enjoy doing this because I can paint with a knife and it's, um, it's real expressive. I can paint uh, without having to worry about detail. This is the knife that I, I use to paint with this entire painting, except for maybe some of these small lines was done with a knife. And it's just, it's fun. It's one of the most enjoyable things I do. I also do portraits and um, I've done medical illustrations at Texas Tech University, but this is one of the most liberating forms of art that I enjoy. Next on Art Is, you will meet Alan Orlicek, discovered a passion for engraving on stone, glass, and eggshells. You can trace a line, you can engrave almost anything. First thing I thought was BS, but I sent out for the free video and um, it looked like they're on the up and up. So I, so I lied to my wife at the time about how much it cost and I ordered it. And um, when I got it in, I started carving the eggshells. That was the thing that amazed me the most about the video. And this drill turns at 300,000 RPMs. And that's how you can cut the eggshells because it turns so fast, it just literally vaporizes the, the eggshell. And uh, then I worked with gun stocks, uh, uh, etched glass, uh, mirrors, and uh, oh, just assorted, assorted pieces, small things. Some of well, like this one in particular, was uh, a pattern off an old camelback trunk that uh, I have. And uh, others that I have, um, our Victorian wallpaper patterns, little corner, uh, corner patterns. I don't presently have anything right now, uh, but uh, that's another favorite that I like to do. And then I've gotten into, uh, uh, well, wildlife like the eagle there and um, ducks, deer. Uh, my dream project would be to eventually combine everything that I've learned into one big project. And I don't really know what that is yet, but I'd like to put it all together. Glass work, stone work, and uh, metal. Oh gosh, you, uh, it's your own little world, you know. You can, sometimes I'll start and won't stop until the sun's coming up. I mean, you just lose all track of time. It's, uh, it's fun. Since childhood, Martha Verdon has experienced a longing to explore her creativity. Through the years, this has led her to explore different art mediums in painting, ceramics, metal smithing, sewing, and poetry. 
Martha will now take us through her lifelong career of exploring the arts. I go through phases when I do a series of paintings, like the paintings, the mystic landscapes, mystical landscapes behind me. But I sort of paint whatever moves me. And um, I started doing uh, women dressed in, from old photographs, dressed in Gibson girl outfits. And I did those for a while. And I've done flowers and I did uh, patterns and uh, stepping stones to the universe. Because everything we know about life is from patterns in, the, um, in our environment or in nature or from fragments that we find that men have left behind. That interests me a lot, so I do that. I, I get an idea like uh, uh, animal paintings, and I'll do animals for a while, and I may use a circle or a square to symbolize wholeness. Uh, I like to work with uh, ideas of transcendence and mystery, and uh, I hope my paintings have mystery. A lot of realistic things I do are just I just do for fun and relaxation. But I love to do landscapes and I love to do people. I've done some portraits in the last few years. Uh, I did pastel portraits for a while of children. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, the mothers always had an ear that didn't do right or the nose was not quite right. And I kind of got discouraged and decided I didn't want to do portraits. But I do love doing people, I do a lot of people, made up people ago I decided that I, I would paint something I wanted to paint and I had seen a Madonna and child and I thought all the images that we have around us in our homes we've eliminated anything that has any religious connotations. I had put this old uh, print of a mother and child that was my grandmother's in a closet it's been there for 20 years. I pulled it out and looked at it it inspired me and I started with uh, the Madonna and then I started doing angels and um, I just love it. I decided that I would paint for me and for God. And then if they sold, fine. But I can't sell those paintings. I just, they're just part of my heart. Mary. Mary sang the babe to sleep, accompanied by the lowing sheep, and looked upon the holy child with poignancy, knowing that his life would be ransomed for humanity. As he slept, she touched his flesh, then with joy and tenderness, she wept. This one is another Mary poem. It's called Madonna. Close she held the tender babe, absorbed in wonder at his birth, and wrapping him in swaddling clothes, she watched amazed as shepherds came to kneel upon the icy ground and mute to gaze upon the child. Then Mary came to see the light that dulled the breaking dawn and heard the throbbing angel song that touched the heart with piercing love to celebrate the holy birth. Greenville, the Ledoux Gallery, and I show. Uh, I have a show in Cotlandia right now. Uh, I work out of my home and I have paintings in the little galleries downtown, uh, the gift shops on occasion. And uh, I have... Uh, I make cards from photographs of my paintings and I sell those in Birmingham and places where we travel. Where would the Mississippi Delta be without the legacy of the blues? Next on Art Is, you will meet Willie Foster, who played with the legendary Muddy Waters. <laughs>